Hey, you over there stressed out right now, huh? I understand. But guess what? You just clicked on the right video. Let's get right to it. What's up to everybody? Thanks so much for tuning in to another video. Let's get right into it. I'm in John chapter 16, verse 33. I'm going to say it one more again. John chapter 16, verse 33. And it reads, this is Jesus talking, by the way. By the way, when you in your word, if it's in red, it's Jesus. I have told you all of this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. OK, and another translation says that in this world, you will face tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. All right. I believe this is the ESB version. And um, yeah, man, but it's all the same revelation uh, pretty much. So uh, I'm going to read it one more time. I have told you all of this so that you may have peace in me. OK. So that you will have peace in me. What does that mean? Peace in Christ. Peace in who he is. Okay. Because see, we're not running the show. We, we can't do anything in and of ourselves. Right. See, peace is not something. It's someone. All right. So if you want peace, you have to go after the prince of peace. Many people say, man, I want peace. Man, I want peace. Man, I want peace. Now, when it comes to the world, if you want a piece, the, the closest thing you can get to a piece is a little piece of cake. You know, you go get yourself a butter knife and, you know, eat a little piece of carrot cake. That's that's peace. Or somebody might throw up the deuce to you like, what up, man? Peace. That's the closest thing you're going to get when it comes to the world. But see, if you want that supernatural peace, right, the Bible says that peace that surpasses all understanding. Right. Meaning it's beyond your comprehension. Like you can't truly measure it. Why? Because it's the real deal. It's overwhelming, right? Peace is not something, it's someone. I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me, right? If I want peace, I got to put it all in him. Like, that's who I'm trusting in. Here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows, okay? So what God is telling you, listen, you won't go through some things. Right. You you're going to go through some things, but be of good cheer. In other words, count it all joy. Right. Be of good cheer. Why? I've already overcame the world. I've already overcome the world. OK. So what he's saying is, listen, I've conquered all of that. I've conquered death. I've conquered everything. Right. I defeated the enemy. I've, I've conquered everything. So what I need you to do, look, be of good cheer. I've already overcome the world. So what does that mean? That means, see, okay, think about it like this. If you got a truck that's pulling the trailer, right? Where is the power coming from? It ain't coming from the trailer. Like you need, you need the engine or you need the truck to be able to pull the trailer, right? And see you, you just a little trailer back there, man. I, you ain't got no power. You know, you might look good. You might have some nice wheels. You know what I'm saying? You might have a nice gate on the back. You know what I'm saying? You On the gate, you might have a, uh, on the side, you might have a gate. You might even have some chrome wheels on your trailer, right? And you look good. You know what I'm saying? That Hey, your trailer, man, probably worth about three grand. You put it on eBay right now, somebody want to buy it, right? I'm talking about the trailer, like you could store horses in there, you know, you can move furniture with the truck. You can do all that stuff, but you ain't got no power. Without the engine, without the truck, you're going to be parked right down side of the road. Okay? So what truly matters is the engine and the truck. So Jesus, right, is, is the prince of peace. See what I'm saying? Jesus is running this show. If you have your trust in him, that engine, that truck, what you need to do is hitch up. Hold on. I feel like you're not listening. Let me make sure my mic on. Hey, you can hear me. All right. I'll just make sure you was good. I see you over there dozing off. I saw you, you over there dozing off. So look, you got to hitch up. Many people are parked on side of the road. Nice trailers. You know what I'm saying? You know, 
You, 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 you take 10 minutes every morning, you iron your shirt, you look great, you professional, you on time, you, I'm talking about you, you, you killing it in all areas of life, but you haven't fully hitched up to Christ. You haven't fully lifted your hands up and say, you know what? I'm living for you. I'm submitting everything to you, right? I'm standing right in agreement with your word, because if you said it, then that settles it. Okay. So he says right here, I've told you all this so that you may have peace in me, meaning peace in me, like you're hitched up, right? Now you rolling with him. Here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows, but be of good cheer. I've already overcame the world. So look, give it to God and go to sleep. Like lay it all down on like that load that's on top of your trailer. It's all good. You ain't good. That ain't nothing because see, when you hitch up to the engine it's built to carry that load. Now you coasting. But see, you running around here trying to carry your, your trailer on your shoulder. And, and, and now you got to go to the doctor. You know what I mean? The doctor talking about he need to have, he need to, uh, he need to, <laughs> he need to have surgery on your shoulder, right? You, you trying to carry too much. You're not built for that. You like five foot zero. And you trying to carry a 3000 pound trip. You're not designed for that. You're designed to hitch up and roll. So look, give it to God and go to sleep. Don't try to carry that. Tra Don't try to carry the, 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 the trailer or whatever it is tonight. Hitch up, submit it to God and go to sleep with a smile on your face because he just told you he's already overcame. He's already overcome the world. The battle is already won. You just got to hitch up to the to the real winner. All right. You've been trying to do it yourself for how long? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. That's a long time. About seven years. That's a long time. Hitch the trail up, man. That's all you got to do. Give it to God and go to sleep, man. I need to get that little that little book sack out the background, man. I'll be trying to hold my head right here so y'all don't see the, the little book sack back there, man. But hey, you know, it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't, man. You just got to see the book sack every day, all right? Nah, I'm just messing around, man. But hey, love y'all so much. Thanks for tuning in to another video. Listen, if you made it to the end of this video, what I would like you to do is comment uh, pink book sack, man. That lets me know you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for tuning in every night. Give it to God and go to sleep. That's what I'm about to do. That's what you need to do, too. Hey, we better together. Iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. That means I'm a little piece of iron over here. Hey, I'm just trying to sharpen you a little bit. Guess what? You sharpen me. We all sharpen each other because we in this together. No one man is an island. Hey, you know what I'm saying? If I see you you struggling, hey, I'm, I'm trying to lend a helping hand. That's who we are in Christ. See, this is the gospel is the good news. In any in any time something is good news, what you want to do? You want to share it. You know what I'm saying? If I make a, a, a hamburger, right, with some old super fat meat, you know what I'm saying? 75, 25, or whatever that is, you know how it is. The 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 more unhealthy it is, the better it tastes. If I make one of those ba those burgers and you buy and you say, man, this dude makes some good burger. Oh, it's good news. You're gonna tell everybody. Hey man, come here, go buy this burger, man. Love you all so much. You have a great night.